Last December, I reviewed The Haunted Island, A Fraud Detective Theme, a short but sweet first-person adventure theme about a crime-solving fraud and his lovable, doofy animal pals. Despite the theme lasting no longer than an hour, I became completely enamoured with its delightful ensemble cast, its vibrant aesthetic, and its hilarious sense of dumb humour. You know, in a lot of ways, Fraud Detective felt like the antithesis of the modern-day video game industry, an hour-long experience that was one and done, a polar opposite to the games I was hooked on at the time, such as Fortnite, which demanded months of investment in a desperate bid for continuous engagement. Simply put, the game felt like the breath of fresh air, a wondrous little oddity that respected my time and whose only intention was to make me laugh. Froth Detective left me feeling warm and comfortable, to the extent that as soon as the credits rolled, I was excited to hunt down similar experiences that fit within that same niche. Accessible, cute games with a great sense of humour and a short playtime. What I wasn't expecting to find seven months later was a game so similar to Froth Detective it literally stars a crime-solving amphibian. Investigator, the taste of the bid crime, is a cutesy point and click adventure game about a talking alligator who is also a detective. During the game's one and a half hour playtime, you control Investigator as he attempts to solve a cheeky crime or three. Investigator is an endearingly oblivious detective, one who fails to notice that his own brother, Instadator, is the culprit behind the majority of the criminal activities he's tasked with solving. So oblivious to this, in fact, that the majority of the game's story revolves around Instadator desperately attempting to be a acknowledged for his dastardly deeds by the rest of the game's animal cast, who are all equally oblivious to his antics as the titular protagonist. Oh, what a cast of lovable dweebs these animals are. Red herring is a weeping fish, Weeping fish makes me feel uncomfortable. Why the hell did I write that? Mr. Crimes is a mob boss polar bear. The police chief is a rhino who doesn't understand how doors work. And Rotsy the secretary is a bird with really great hair. Each character's dialogue is punctuated by a nonsensical banjo kazooie style mash of pitch shifted noises. <laughs> which further adds to the game's overall tutti aesthetic. The game is split into three tases, each one slightly longer than the last. Investigator plays like the classic point and click adventure game, allowing you to wander around locations and interact with various objects in order to progress. Puzzles are few and far between and are incredibly easy, included more so in order to set up a punchline rather than to offer a genuine brain teaser. A light implementation of the LA Noir dialogue system, in which Investigator can press a witness further by choosing one of three options, is also included for the same purpose. Basically, if it's jokes you're after, you're in luck, because just like Fraud Detective, Investigator is fundamentally designed to make you laugh. The writing is genuinely funny, building up as the tastes progress into a series of self-aware in-jokes and surrealist situations. I don't want to spoil too much, seeing as though the game is so short, but two standout moments include an interaction with a prison warden, who is represented as a disembodied photorealistic arm, and Instadator impersonating Investigator's rhino boss and bird secretary, without raising any kind of suspicion from the bumbling detective, despite the obvious differences in size and appearance. It's cliched stuff, don't get me wrong, but it's fundamentally what makes these kind of games so appealing to me. It's light-hearted, easy-going, and good, dumb fun. You could play this with your kids or with your nan, and be safe in the knowledge that everyone playing will have a great time doing so. Unfortunately, I did hit a few technical hitches whilst playing. One instance saw Investigator become stuck attempting to open a drawer, which annoyingly resulted in me having to reset the game and replay the entire case in order to progress, but hey ho, as far as I'm aware, this is the first game by the developer Dames by Bees, so you know, these things happen. Also, the bees! How can, they, how can they use a keyboard with a little, I want to say tendrils, but they're definitely just arms, aren't they? I loved Investigator, the taste of the bid crime. I played through it alone on a warm Saturday evening and enjoyed every jolt filled second of it. Like the Fraud Detective, Investigator is a gem of an experience, one that will no doubt appeal to lovers of cute animals sleuthing, fans of accessible point and click adventure games, and forths who are just looking for a bit of a laugh in between playing some of this year's biggest AAA releases. Sadly, Investigator appears to have been completely overlooked since its release at the start of July. On Steam, the game only has two user reviews, which is, I mean, the obvious joke here is to say that it's criminal. You know, because detective, that's a detective joke. Look, it's $3.99, they're bought. Thanks. As a final point, after playing two games in this little subgenre, I still want more. More little funny experiences, please. So good, so cheap, they're so wholesome and beneficial to my mental health. I want a newt, a salamander, a toad. HMRC auditor who was a salamander investigates Mrs. Otter who has not completed a self-assessment since 2006. There, someone made that immediately. Inject it into my veins. Thank you.